Alright, welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're gonna make okra, fry okra, and saltfish. And these are the steps you can take and do. I'll add pepper and garlic and my onion. I would like to cook it nice and dry, the okra, and not slimy. So what I did, I chip up my okra, and I put it by the kitchen window and let it dry. As you can see here, it's not too dry, but um, it's nice, not too slimy. Add my tomatoes. I love my veggies with some sort of fish. You get dry fish, smoked fish, salt fish. Or even fry fish, it tastes good. I'll put in some scallion green onion or shallot. Already chop, chopped up my fish, I wash it and uh, take out all the salt from it. Um, I had this soak overnight. So there is no salt in it. I slightly boil it for like about a couple of minutes, not too much. And I'm using extra virgin oil, olive oil. That's why it looks yellow, the oil. And I'll add the salt fish in here. A lot of people put vinegar on their okra and all kinds of different things. They put baking powder just not to get it slimy. I like it to eat it natural. So I chop it up and leave it by the kitchen window for some time. Um, you can leave it overnight if you want. I remember um, back home, my mom would chop it up and leave it outside in the sun. And I chip mine a little small. Some people chop chopped up theirs chunky. As you can see here. nice and crunchy so I'll add this in the pot
So everything went up. Okra price went up. It's I think five bucks a pound. Egg is scarce. Toilet paper is scarce. A lot of stuff. I'll mix up all this here. Price is going up for everything. Egg price went up sky high. The milk price went up. All the vegetables went up. I don't want too much oil on it, so I like it a little crunchy. Some people um, chopped up their fish pretty fine, make it into choker kind of size. I like it a little more chunkier. These are bones. So I don't have to add too much salt out taste while cooking. I'll add a quart, uh, one spoon of uh, green seasoning. If you can get a bigger pan to do it, to cook it, it will be better so it's kind of scattered out. And I don't like to fry it up too much because You burn out everything from it, so I'll let this cook for a little bit here and be back. So this has been cooking for five minutes. I'll add some, you can put in your dry seasoning, some black pepper. Pepper flakes. Already have half of a habanero in here. You can add some, you don't need to put in more garlic powder or onion powder, I'm just putting in a little bit more on top. This is onion powder. And I'll add just a little bit more garlic powder. You don't want to turn it up too much because it will get slimy. But of course you have to turn it up. But the bigger the pan that you're cooking it in is better. So you can kind of scatter it out. This is a very fast and easy simple recipe in cooking your when you come home from work, if you got a chip already, um, it doesn't doesn't take that long. Um, 25 minutes the most, I, I think. So I'll let this cook for a few. And 
an extra 10 minutes more and then we'll, we'll be back again. So this has been cooking for, I think about 20 minutes now. some salt. Not too much. So this is a okra and saltfish. This is how you cook it. Um, you can cook it a little more dry. I still didn't get it that dry, but and burn up. But um, I think I have a lot in here. That's why. And the tomato actually got it a little slimier. But this is good enough for me. If you guys didn't subscribe to the channel, please do so or share it, like it, either one. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.